this video we tackle the first part of the headlining refurb. Uh, the headlining's been sagging down as common on these cars, so this is the first part removing and cleaning up the old headlining. Thank you. Right, so today I'm going to start removing the headlining. As you see, it's just lifting a bit, it's coming away, going saggy. A little bit at the back. So I, I suppose the first step is to remove handles, sunshades, lights, sensor, etc. So let's give it a go. This clip, you can see the tab at the top. A screw. So that helps. Yeah, so they just then <laughs> pull out. Yeah, so this bit then just pops out, but I can't see, I can't see any fixings up there. It doesn't seem to want to wiggle out. Maybe it just clipped in. Yeah, it's just clipped in. That's a relief. Right, I'm slightly losing the light. I'm going to take the other door handles off um, and I'll come back to when I take off the other parts. Assuming this just pulls off. I must have removed this before, but a long time ago. Alright, the same on this side. Everything I could see is nice and well, shiny fresh paint, really. I can remember doing this for cars in the past, old cars and well, cars that were newer than this at the time probably will be falling apart. <sighs> okay, so there's a marking on here with an arrow towards the front of the vehicle, I assume. How it was again. I've forgotten how to do this. I know that there are some tabs which are quite weak, you know, slide it backwards or forwards, but I can't remember which. Mm. 
don't know, it's a flickering LED fitting. What, which way do I do it? Forwards or backwards? I missed recording this step in the removal process, but um, for this trim, you just grab hold of it and put it out, or you can put it off with a trim removal tool, but you just pull it off a bit and then work it all the way off, and then that comes off, freeing the headlining. The sun visor I haven't recovered in this stage. Um, I'm gonna do that separately, so that'll be in another video. trying to remove this piece of trim so obviously the seatbelt goes through it so I need to remove that one there right so it comes out with this uh, cad plated bush on the back facing that way that comes off I'll turn that, that came out easy that's uh, I've already been there and in the past and uh, that's got some copper grease on it. I pull that through. <laughs> and it isn't like a normal spring clip where you just push it back and it falls through. Um, so I just work it out, put a thin screwdriver blade, thin blade of a screwdriver in and just work it out gently so you don't break it. Okay, so that's popped out of there. Can remove this. This can then be recovered. This was really clean. I've got it dirty during removal. But um, this needs to come out. And that you just slide it that way. And pull, lift this end up slightly. Come away. I like 
to make a note of all these labels from the production. That's on that BC pillar. And on the other side, 